Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is Adu. It's not a new track. I've seen it. The track's called Usiwa. I liked it. I watched the music video a little while back now. But this was just released, and this is a live version of this track. I love her live. I think she's absolutely fantastic. I react to Unravel when I bring guests on because the song's awesome. <laughs> anyway, I've been told by a subscriber, a Patreon member, a friend, that uh, the track's really good too. And so we're gonna find out together. Let's give it a go. <laughs> to like in this. I loved the stage performance itself. The lights looked great. The uh, pyro looked awesome. The band is very, very competent. Killer bass player. Cool guitar stuff. Keyboardist was rocking. All good. Her. I really like her and you guys know that. I was pronouncing it wrong. It's Usiwa, right? Is that right? Usi, Usiwa. So, uh, 
what I thought about her performance. I loved where she starts yelling and then stopped herself and then went in that quick verse. That was cool. And she did it either two or three times throughout the track. But I like where she screams, which is what I, which we're waiting for. We're used to that. We're accustomed. And then stops it so quickly, like almost a musical instrument rather than a complete feeling. I love the guttural sound. I've never heard from her before. It was a... <sighs> She did a little bit of that, and I thought that was cool just because it was a little different than what I'm used to from the stuff I've heard from her thus far. And then at the end, she just goes berserk, where I was saying she screams, and then she cuts it. She didn't do that at the end. She just went berserk, and I thought that was awesome, awesome. I don't know. It gets a laugh out of me. I don't know why I react that way where I think it's funny, but I I suspect it's because I'm just not I'm just not waiting for it. It's all a surprise with her. I think she's incredibly talented. She's this little burst of energy and something new on the music space to give us something refreshing to listen to with really talented cats around her. These guys know how to play. So absolutely thought this was a good one. I don't know if I like it as much as uh, Unravel, and I only say that so like seriously because I like Unravel so much, but I might like this as much as Unravel. It's a really, really good track live. This was killer. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like Unravel better? <laughs> I don't know. Let, let me know. You can. It's up to you guys, but very, very cool track. I really, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought it was awesome. Thank you, guys. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.